Hi guys, and welcome to today's uh, today's drawing. Um, today we're doing summer our summer packet, and it's art class number four, and it's the cute ice cream cone. So let's get started. As always, I have my pencil and my eraser. I have a pen so that you can all see the picture a little bit more clearly, and then I have markers and crayons today. I have not decided which ones I'm going to use yet. So let's get started by putting our name on the paper, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna be doing a lot of erasing today, friends, so um, let's make sure we use our whisper lines, which means very, very soft, light lines, okay? So I'm gonna start out by drawing a triangle that's kind of on the bottom half of my page. This is gonna be my ice cream cone And I want the bottom to be rounded. That is not going to change. So I'm going to kind of round that out. Plus round shapes are kind of cuter. And this top line doesn't really matter because we're going to be going over it. So next, what we're going to do is we're just below that top of uh, that um, flat part of the triangle. We're going to draw a kind of curved line that goes into an oval. This is gonna be your first ice cream scoop. Again, we're gonna use whisper lines. See how it sits over that triangle? And then over that, we're gonna draw another line about the same size. That's another kind of rock shape. These are our two scoops of ice cream. So now we're gonna start the tricky part. Now we're gonna start erasing, okay? So the first thing we're going to erase is the ice cream cone top, anything that's inside this first scoop of ice cream at the bottom. Okay, so you see that? The next thing we're going to erase, now this is tricky, the bottom ice cream cone where it goes into the top scoop of ice cream, we're going to erase that because that top scoop is sitting on top top of the bottom scoop so you wouldn't see the top of the bottom scoop. Okay, so next we're going to kind of give these scoops some shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to make cloud shapes. Make sure these are big cloud shapes that goes to the side of the scoop. And I'm going to do this on the top one too or like kind of like flower petals. This is the edge of the scoop. And now I'm going to erase any of that line that's in those petals, those scoops. And same with this top one. Anything that's inside that, that scoop of ice cream, I'm going to erase. So it should look like this. Okay. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to start inking it so that, um, that you guys can see everything a little bit better. So you guys take your time doing these steps. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. So the next step we're gonna do is add this little piece of cracker um, or cookie into the top of the ice cream cone. And then we're also, I'm gonna add a cherry. You don't have to do the cherry. So to add this kind of piece of cookie towards the top, we're gonna make this kind of curved line. And then we're gonna go up on both sides, curve around. And now I'm gonna erase inside. The cookie because the cookie is sitting on top of the ice cream so you won't see beneath it you can't see through that piece of cookie and I'm also gonna draw a cherry how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna make a circle and then I'm gonna put an upside down rainbow and I'm gonna erase 
the top of that ice cream because again you wouldn't be able to see through the cherry and then I'm going to draw a stem and I'm going to shade that stem in the last thing I'm going to add before I do my faces is I'm going to add hot fudge on top so to do this I'm just going to do some little drippies now you want to be careful not to go down too far because you have her or the ice cream cones face okay now my cherry I'm just gonna do a little highlight okay so go ahead and do that again I'm gonna quickly outline this in pen so you can see it better Go, my hot fudge. Outline the cookie. Okay, now let's do the fun part. Let's draw the faces. This is always my favorite part. So the first face, I'm gonna draw them a little differently. Um, it's up to you how you want to do them. I'm gonna do two big circles right here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing down here and then this one's looking inward and I'm going to do a little highlight down there and color shade in those eyes so I don't forget remember we want to leave those highlights white and we want to color around them um, the circles that are the highlights we want to color around them black There's my first eye, and it's taking me a little bit of a long time because um, I'm using a, a writing pen and not a drawing pen. Okay, so there's those eyes. And then if you want to add little eyebrows, you can do little, just little curves. Obviously, ice cream cones don't have eyebrows or faces, but we're trying to make these cute little ice cream cone guys. Um, and then I'm going to add a little smile and little cheeks. Now, if you want to add eyelashes, you can. It's up to you. Now, this one, I'm going to have the eyes looking up at the other ice cream cone. So, I'm going to put the highlights there and then on the opposite. So that it looks like my ice cream cone on the bottom is looking up on at his, uh, the ice cream cone's front on top. go now this one I'm gonna give a different expression this one I'm gonna kind of give a cute like open mouth smile so it kind of looks like an upside down triangle or like kind of the same shape as the cone and then I'm gonna give it a little tongue which is kind of like the little shape of an M and this one too will have little eyebrows and cheek awesome now I'm gonna add a few more details I'm gonna add a little a couple bumps in the syrup and then I'm gonna add lines in the cookie to kind of make it look like a waffle cookie and I'm also gonna do that on the cone to make it look like a waffle cone so you just do lines one direction and then do them the other direction and try to make sure that they're the same width apart go so there is our ice cream cone so now let's do the fun part let's start coloring I am going to use crayons for this one um I know that they use pink and yellow I think I'm going to use um pink and blue and light blue for this so I'm going to start out by outline or by coloring in my bottom ice cream cone now I'm not being very careful um, around the eyes and stuff because I know that this is light pink and so it won't really cover over the black very well so I'm 
I'm doing um, a nice job coloring in and I am trying to stay within the lines, but I don't really have to be super careful. I'll outline every little thing. So there's my pink. Now, if you have a, if you're using crayons or colored pencil, um, and you have a slightly darker pink, go ahead and use that for the shadow. Here's my slightly darker pink, and all I'm gonna do is under that first ice cream cone, I'm just gonna put a like kind of blend in some darker pink, so it looks like there's a shadow from the first scoop to the second scoop. Okay. If you if you're using marker, don't worry about doing this. That's too difficult for marker. Okay, let's do my light blue next. Okay. Now remember the chocolate syrup is going to go brown, or the hot fudge um, is going to go brown. So we're not going to color that in, and we're not going to color in the cheeks or the um, cookie cracker. I am trying to color in really nicely, and I'm not coloring in the cheeks. I think if this were a flavor of real ice cream, it'd be cotton candy. This is my pretty bright ice cream. Okay, so there is the second scoop. I make it blue. Now let's take out the brown for the hot fudge and I'm going to outline the brown or the hot fudge and color it in. And if you also want to use the brown to make the stripes on the waffle cone, that would be a pretty good idea too. So you can go through and um, outline the stripes of the waffle cone in this dark brown. That'll look really nice. And it's okay to turn your paper when you're trying to draw at a certain angle. I, I, um, when I'm drawing and not recording, I do that all the time. I just haven't been doing it as much with, um, with the videos because it's hard to see over the screen. But that is a okay to do. So now I'm gonna take this golden color, this like golden yellow color, and that's what color I'm gonna make the waffle cone. I'm gonna mix some brown and some orange in there too. This is a little bright for a waffle cone. Waffle cones are really, like normally this really nice tan color. So let's go with um, a little bit of brown and a little bit of orange. And I'm just gonna go through, and with the orange, I'm gonna do shadows underneath that scoop, that first scoop. Kind of along the edges, and I'm just gonna Shade over that yellow a little bit. Same with the cookie. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with the brown and do some shadowing under that first scoop. Now I'm not pushing very hard because I don't want it to be very dark. I just want it to be a hint of this color. There we go. And then we're going to color in the cookie. There we go. Okay, now let's do the cherry and the cheeks. I'm gonna use red. I have two colors of red. So for the cherry, I'm gonna do this bright red color and color in this cherry. Now remember that shape, that weird shape I drew is a highlight, so I'm not gonna color that in. Now I'm gonna take this darker red and right in the pit of the cherry, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna take the light red and color in the cheeks. And I'm gonna color in the little tongue. And I'm gonna make the background of the mouth um, black, but I'm gonna do it in crayon. Okay, so there we go. Look how cute these little ice creams are. So lastly, let's, um, let's color in the background. Oh, I should do the stem of the Let's color in the background of this um, 
ice cream cone. So I am going to use, let's see, let's pick a fun color. Let's do bright green, I think, or purple. Actually, let's do purple. I like purple. I'm going to do a light purple. So again, I'm probably not going to color this whole thing in. I'm just going to lightly shade around my ice cream. Just to give it a little bit of a background. If you need to outline your shapes first, go ahead and do that. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So there we have our cute little ice cream cone. Yay. I'm really happy with this one. I thought this was a lot of fun, even though it's a very unhealthy treat. It seems like a lot of fun and it's very